Now that I have a few thousand blueberry points, let's do some auto prints and see how it feels. Hopefully I don't screw myself over on TMs too bad, but you can buy them now with blueberry points, so that's a thing. And we'll just have to dump a lot of points and get this upgraded. Also, Sarah B has posted the details about the item printer from Kurt. Now I can't go over the full details because Joe Merrick gave me a copyright strike in the past for making a guide about his website. But after playing around with the item printer for a while and upgrading it to the Master Ball tier, we do have some observations. The item printer rewards are the crazy part because it sounds really bad where it's like, a 1% chance of getting double item drops, a 0.1% chance of hitting the Pokeball Lotto? Well, that's per item, and when it applies to your next craft, it doesn't apply just to one craft, it applies to your entire batch, so you get double for 10 items, or you get 10 Pokeball rolls if you hit this table, and if you're just mashing through blueberry points, and you're just spending them like crazy, you actually get this really frequently. Another observation is that you get 1x of everything until you upgrade to the Master Ball, then you get the proper loot table. So it looks terrible, and then it gets insane. Like, you're not gonna believe how insane it gets, which is why you watch the entire video, like, comment, subscribe. Wow, if you do Chansey Farming, that's really good for resources. So now I'm starting to get it, because I just did like a couple of prints when I first saw it, because I didn't want to waste points or go into it completely blind but then it shows like the rarity of the items and even though it shows like terror shard times one that's actually a roll for the 5 to 20 of an item and then you can see the different rarities regardless of the ball that you have so we get some hit point ups and then other stuff oh oh 2x item bonus has been activated okay then so let's see how that rolls Okay, so it tells you, and that doubles everything, so that's when you want to do the big job. Also, as it upgrades, it gets cheaper. Yeah, for each item you print, there's a 1% chance of getting double item drops for your next print. And the print counts for like 10, not just one item. So that means there's actually like a 1 in 100, like there's a 1% chance here that if I do 10, we actually get the Pokeball Lotto. And then that's when the odds of the Pokeball Lotto come in. So it's actually not as terrible as it seemed. And so far, I haven't run out of materials, and it's pretty cheap on the blueberry points. I think this is actually a really good feature. It doesn't have, like, the same oomph as the cram matic because a lot of the things are obtainable. But if I'm just getting, you know, five terror shards here and there of different kinds, because that's not just one ghost terror shard. Also, the iron and zinc right there, we might have just made, like, 100k off that print. But yeah, it really feels like you don't run out of blueberry points here. So you can get some really nice stuff. And then technically, if you're doing like all the missions and stuff, the uh, KO 10 Pokemon in auto battle is really common. And that's just going to give you some more resources. It really seems like it seems like the big thing is dumping through all of your resources. All right, we got a gold. Let's see what all this looks like. We got two big nuggets. The big nugget roll is for potentially two to five. So we just got four big nuggets minimum. That's that's some good money in the bank. And then good amount of terror shards, ball mushrooms, ability capsules. Yo. Oh, and we we only did a couple of those and now we have Pokeball Lotto. Wow. The odds seem a lot more favorable than that. And then we can do 10 jobs here. All right, boys. Do we roll a Master Ball? Okay, so yeah, the item printer's actually cracked. We get the insane animation. Ooh. Whoa, we got three? Master Ball, Beast Ball, Fast Ball. Oh, that's good for legendary Pokemon. And style. And raids. This is really cool. What made the Cramomatic so special is that it felt like alchemy for items that you just couldn't buy or easily obtain. And then it worked into the gameplay loop. This also works into the gameplay loop, even though I find blueberry points a little clunky because, like, you just have to keep grinding the same thing over and over and over, and you really need to do it in a group, and then you're still spending hours to get thousands to tens of thousands of blueberry points. I just wish they made to where, like, if Pokemon Home could do the blueberry points, like, could transfer blueberry points, best feature ever. And then it's like, yeah, now, now we're feeling Isle of Armor in, like, uh, Roto points, crazy digging and all that extra stuff. 
But because we're bulk printing 10 at a time, we're getting the items pretty commonly. Lucky Egg doesn't really matter with all the candies that we get and all like the terror rating, but I, I should have done a before and after for all the resources we're getting. And we just keep on going. I haven't run out of resources yet. And what does the double look like? You know, do we get the super crazy roll? Okay, so it like doesn't, didn't show the gold animation. Okay, never mind. Because I thought like when it showed gold, that means you got it. And we only had like silver max, but no. More big nuggets, more masterpiece teacups, and some PP ups. So yeah, anything that just gives me like 50k a print or more. Dang, we've been grinding away though. No master ball upgrade just yet. And I'll also like... I don't care about Stellar Terra Shards, to be honest, because, like, finding the Stellar Pokemon, also the free shards that are just kind of, like, scattered about, you get a good amount. So, seems like Game Freak has reduced the Terra Shard burden significantly with this, but I don't even really care if I got a Stellar Shard roll. Still looking good on TM materials, and now that it's getting even cheaper, you know, we haven't even spent 2,500 Blueberry Points, and we've gotten all of this great stuff, and we're upgraded. That's including the cost to upgrade it manually. So yeah, you can just sit here and camp this for a long time and get all kinds of good stuff. Like three times as common as the gold bottle cap or ability capsule. And I'm fine with that. I'd rather have the money for vitamins since gold bottle cap doesn't matter. And I have a million ability patches from all the raid events. I did not expect this to be as good of a feature as it is. Or to have like... This, this, it just work out because yeah after you do your first couple rolls you're like oh i only got one terra shard that seems pretty off and just keep going for the, like the crazy odds i didn't even see what i got i don't care every resource contributes in its own way wait why does it show larger amounts of terra shards now did i actually have to get it to master ball tier for it to stop showing one x or is that just like some kind of glitch oh lot of time two x it's a bonus bonus is a bonus a lot of silvers let's go 22 dark 14 dragon 30 electric we we just like almost got just straight pokemon and then the metal alloy so we didn't get a money roll right there but we got terra shards so yeah you get a couple of those and this is just the best thing like okay terra shards no longer a problem turns out we didn't need discounted terra shards or a terra charm we just need cramomatic 2.0 well done game freak so yeah shiny hunters are winning who knows how many resources those people have from all that they've done. And yeah, because the Pokemon don't like always just straight auto lock and KO Pokemon super fast. Synchro probably the best way of doing this. And I've been seeing people say, oh, Synchro's bad because you can go so far away. It despawns the shiny Pokemon. But if you just do it in the area and you also do it for outbreaks like this, you're probably fine. And yeah, this is also faster. And then you just have to use like naturally faster Pokemon. You know, Golden Go, Rev Room, these are just fast Pokemon that you can zoom around and get tons of resources. You want to find it for something that gives a lot. So Ditto, Eevee, Chansey. All right, this makes me feel a little bit better about the gameplay loop. Cause I was like, oh man, Blueberry Points. It still sucks getting Blueberry Points. But if you just kind of like farm in a group for an hour, you might not ever need to do anything again. Oh, you don't even have to like, A, I've been like swinging attacks. Now you just crash into them and then it auto fights. This was well thought out. This, this, this gets a high tier rating from me. Also, you can just go around and collect items. Yeah, this is, this is really good overall. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.